Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a video where I've done a full face using drugstore products that I absolutely love and I think they're like definitely products that you need to have because they're so good. I literally thought of it this morning so I thought it would be a good idea to share with you guys because I get a ton of questions on like drugstore products. I did also use this amazing brush set um, from Do Color. Um, you get like a ton in here and it like closes up and zips up. So like literally is like amazing if you're a makeup artist or if you just want a bunch of brushes. Um, they're super affordable and they do like, you know, you guys know that I do a bunch of reviews on like Amazon and eBay brushes. This is kind of like that. Um, they are, come, they are from China I believe, but you guys know like from my previous videos on affordable makeup brushes that they are still really good quality, but these ones are really really nice and they're affordable and if you use the code Anushka you can get 10% off. So I'll leave everything in the info box um, if you guys want to check that out. So I thought it would be like a good idea to kind of show the brushes and how they work during this video. Um, they're really really good, like I'm really happy with them. But anyways, I'm going to stop chatting and talking as I always do and I'll just jump straight into this video. So please mind my pink lips at the moment. I just tried on a new lipstick so it's just like stained my lips. But the first thing I'm going to do is do my eyebrows. I'm going to use the Soap and Glory 2-in-1 Brow Filling Pencil and this is by far like my favourite like drugstore brow filling pencil. Um, it's really good like it does the job super quick, the colour's perfect. I really hurt my thumb. Oh my god. I was pinning up my um backdrop and I literally like hurt it so bad. But anyways, as I was saying, this like brow pencil is like really good because it's like kind of like a nice dupe for the Anastasia brow is. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows. My brows have been a mess lately, I haven't been doing anything to them. There's like hair everywhere. You probably can't see it on camera, but trust me, there is a ton of hair. I'm going to do a really nice, like, arc. See, like, that is so quick. This is why I love this brow pencil. If you haven't got this, I definitely recommend it. Okay, so when I'm done with that, see, literally that was not even five minutes, so this is why I love it so much. It's just so quick and easy, and I'm in the shade Dark Chocolate. Now I'm going to set my brows in place. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Brow Artist Shaper, Brow Artist Plumper, in medium to dark, and I'm just going to brush my brow hairs in place. This is really good because it literally, like, keeps your brow hairs in place all day, well, for me at least. Especially like this brow, like the, the brow hairs tend to go down, so I make sure I stick them in place. And sometimes I even go in with the second layer at the end if I feel like I need to. So the brushes that I'm going to use today are from Do Color. They look like this and they come like in a massive like case. Um, so you get like all this and then all this so there's like a ton of brushes in here and it's super affordable for how much you're getting if you use the code Anushka you can get 10% off this whole brush set but yeah I'm gonna be using these today and I have like been feeling them and stuff and they feel really soft and I pulled on them I did the pull test and they don't shed so yeah and they look very nice like this brush I'm so intrigued by but anyways I'm gonna be using these so first brush I'm gonna use is this one right here like a super flat one and I'm gonna be using this with some concealer the concealer i'm going to be using to clean up my brows is the um wet and wild photo focus concealer you guys know that i love the nyx scotch covered concealer but i it's upstairs and i forgot to bring it so <laughs> i'm going to use this today but again like they're both really good concealers but i'm just using this it just really cleans up like the the edges And this brush actually makes it go super sharp. Okay, so I'm now going to move on to my face. So first thing I'm going to use is the Body Shop Skin Defense. This is the 40ml one. I don't really class Body Shop as high end, like to be honest. So I'm really sorry if I'm wrong, but like to me this is like an affordable skincare range, like for the quality and everything. So 
I'm going to include it in this video and I do really love this because it's like a nice SPF like it's not like it doesn't give that white cast and it doesn't feel like really heavy or anything so I just always put this on one of my favorite drugstore moisturizers is the Garnier Moisture Bomb moisturizer this is really good and lightweight Okay, so now onto foundation. I couldn't choose like my favorite, favorite, like top drugstore foundation because, like, you know how I'm like a hoarder of foundations and I've got so many that I really, really like. My lips are so pink. But yeah, I've got so many that I really, really like and I just chose the ones that I really, really like at the moment and the ones that I reach for the most. So the two that I've really been using is the NYX Total Control Drops and the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. So these are my like go-to at the moment. Um, my two other favourites are the Milani 2-in-1 Foundation and the LA Girl Pro Coverage Illuminating Foundation. So those are my two favourite other favourites but because those are so hydrating and so dewy, they're more like my winter foundations because they are very like very very moisturizing and during winter time my skin gets to some next level dryness um, and they're not very suitable for summertime because I do my face does kind of sweat um, in summer and like if I wear it in the sun like I literally look like I'm melting so that's why I haven't really been reaching for them especially with like hot weather and stuff so with these ones they haven't been letting me down and they actually look really nice during summertime um I probably will still use them during um winter but I'm I have a feeling I won't be able to wear the next one in winter time so you have to take these things into consideration because your skin changes like all the time and it does change according to like the weather and like how much water you're drinking and stuff like that so yeah, I do consider like those factors and like my foundation, my favourite foundation changes all the time according to my skin. So today I'm going to use the NYX one. I've been reaching for this one for like days now. Um, I do still like the Rimmel one but lately I've just been using this one. So it doesn't, like, there's no favourite. Like I love both for their own reasons but I like this one. Even though this one does actually smooth up my skin better because it has this like pore blurring effect and I do realise that it does kind of smooth my skin out but I'm going to use this because I just feel like the colour match, I have got a bit darker, the colour match and I don't know it just sits so nicely on my skin and I find that with this one I don't need to re oh shit sorry for my language I just basically dropped the foundation on my white top so this is going to go in a bit so what I do, I actually used to put a lot but with this one I just put like a little bit so the next brush I'm going to use is this one right here. It's like a little buffing brush. And I'm just going to like gently buff in this into my skin. Because I feel like before I used to put way too much. So if I feel like I need more coverage in certain areas, I just apply like a little drop like in that area. Like the foundation's perfect, like it's actually really good. And I can't believe like there was so much controversy around it. Like not controversy, but a lot of people found that it was too drying, but I actually really like it. And I think that's why I like it for like summertime because it's not overly hydrating to the point where it looks like I'm sweating. I'm gonna go back in with my Wet n Wild concealer. I'm then going to use the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. This is definitely like my top drugstore setting powder. Like it's only £5 and it, it, it's actually pretty well. And I do have a video where I compare it to the actual banana powder by Ben Nye. I'm just going to bake under my eyes. I'm then going to use this brush right here, which is kind of like a tapered powder brush. I 
I need to oh my god my face is so hairy right now you guys I wish you guys could tell like my face is so hairy like you can see my moustache oh my god but it's okay it's okay we're all hairy okay I'm not ashamed a bit of the makeup revolution powder just to set that all in place I'm just gonna take the large powder brush with my Maybelline fit me powder in 250 looks like this it's a bit on the paler side but I just basically use this just to like kind of set the rest of my face because during summer like I do like because I use so much hydrating products and if I don't my skin gets dry quickly just like that so just to kind of prevent me looking like I'm sweating so much I do powder a bit more now and by the way these brushes feel super soft so now for bronzer I'm going to use this like tapered bronzer brush it's like the perfect shape it's like tapered and I'm going to be using my master bronze palette by Maybelline and this is like my favorite bronzer like this palette is one of like my best drugstore face palettes and I like I've been using this bronzer a lot because it's just such like it's so subtle and it's so it goes on the skin like really diffused look how like effortless there's something about the formula of this bronzer that just goes on like just goes on beautifully Then on like a duo fiber brush, this is quite like loose, it's very fluffy. I'm gonna use my favorite blush at the moment, it's like the one I've been using like in all my tutorials. It's the Primark blusher in Muscovado. It was only £1.50 guys and you can't go wrong with it. Let's brush some on my cheeks. It's just such a stunning peach color. Then for highlighter, so for my highlighter it was really really hard to choose one of what a ton but the one that I know like I won't let me down is the sleek highlighting palette in Cleopatra's Kiss. This highlighter is just absolutely like stunning and my favourite colour is this one right here. So I'm going to use this flat brush right here. I'm just going to apply it out with that. I've got like spots on my cheeks for some reason. See that it's just a beautiful highlight and the thing I love the most about this is that it doesn't like really go grey on me. Now my favourite drugstore like setting spray is definitely the Nip and Fab Primer Water. Um, the only downside to it as I always say is like it literally is like the spray, I think my spray is broken, I don't know if you guys have had the same issue if you have this, let me know in the comments but literally it just spits at you. Um, I did get some suggestions to put in another bottle which I probably will do when I have the time but yeah it's the only downside and I don't know if it's just my bottle but I do love the formula. Like when I do this I have to take a second because I feel like I'm drowning with this. But it's also like I feel like it's not giving an even layer of spray but like when I wear this it just melts everything together. Right onto the eyes I'm going to use my favourite drugstore palette at the moment. It's like the one I love is the Makeup Revolution Flawless 3 Resurrection palette. This thing's only £8 and the pigment is crazy on this so I'm going to be using this palette. I'm probably going to use always the same colours like I always use these lot so I might use a shimmery colour as well. Right, let's get on to blending. I'm going to use this fluffy uh, blending brush and I'm going to use this colour right here first. And I think I'm going to do something like a halo eye today just to change it up a bit. Look, that's just one colour. For a drugstore palette that's only £8, I'm pretty shocked. Like, literally, I always reach for this for, like, the warmer colours. I do actually use a lot of the other colours. The only ones that I haven't really touched are these lilac ones, because I feel like they won't show up on me. Um, I have used some of this first row. The shimmers are really nice. Okay, so now I'm going to take another fluffy brush, which is this one right here. I'm going to take this colour right here. Deepen that area. I 
feel free to get take the first blending brush you use just to like diffuse the edges and kind of make it like blend a bit better grab this color right here which is a stunning gold I'm just gonna like really pack this on I'm going to use this flat brush right here and I'm just going to spritz it with some primer water and I'm just going to pack this on I'm probably going to get a ton of comments saying that I'm doing the same looks all the time but this video is more showcasing like my top drugstore products rather than like the look like I will come up with different looks don't you worry a lot of you wanted to see like that green cut crease that I did so that will be up soon I was so shocked actually because so many of you wanted to see it and I was just like oh my god I didn't expect that so I will definitely have that up for you guys I'm also going to take some of that dark colour and really buff this into my lash line as well thought I was going to use liner but I'm not but I will show you what my favourite one is my top eyeliner from the drugstore is definitely the Rimmel Glam Eyes I rarely, rarely make a mistake with this liner because the brush is so precise let me show you the brush is so thin look at that so if, you have, if you're looking for like a really super black, super precise liquid eyeliner that you know is going to be easy to use, then I definitely recommend that one. So now onto mascara. Like this is no question obviously, but my favourite top ever mascara is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I'm going to just show you one eye. Oh, and I forgot. I wanted to include this because this is like one of my favourite eyeshadows. This is the Colourpop um, eyeshadow in Amaze. So I'm just going to take a bit of that. Oh, look at that. Just pop that some on my lid. This is like so pretty. I feel like this is an eyeshadow everyone needs. So I'm going to be using my Vegas Ney eyelashes which are here. I use these all the time actually. Um, these are the Eyelure Vegas Ney Lashes um, in Grand Glamour. This is my favourite lash glue, it's by Revlon and this one it never lets me down. So Look at the difference those lashes make, like it just make, it, they're just so fluffy. Okay so now on to lips, I'm first going to use my LA Girl Endless Lip Pencil in true brown which is like my favorite lip liner and then my favorite drugstore liquid lipstick is the nip and fab liquid lipstick in cinnamon i've been using this a lot and it's actually really nice like it stays on i do have to reapply it but Compared to like all the other ones I have, it's pretty good. Anyways, that's the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I will see you guys in my next video.